We are gonna have a good time tonight. I get to MC a lot of shows too, man, and it's some of the times when you're talking to the audience, sometimes the audience yells out some stuff that's really funny, man. I was doing a show about four months ago, MC, it was a Friday night. I came out, I posed the question to the audience. I was like, yo, is anybody in the place celebrating anything? So what I threw out to the audience, right? Cool, we've heard it before. The audience was quiet, but from the back of the room, this one guy yells out, she was only late, she's not pregnant. <laughs> like, isn't that inside voice you just shot that out? <laughs> Everybody looking back at him. But when you think about it, though, that is an awesome celebration, though. <laughs> a period party? That's a good one right there. I would have never thought to have that one. I got some crazy introductions. I ought to tell you guys about the funniest introduction I ever got, man. I was in Wallaceburg, Ontario. Yeah, where all the brothers hang out. <laughs> I was in Wallaceburg, Ontario, man. I was there. I was with two other comedians, two white guys, really cool white guys. Now, I have to mention that they're white guys because of this experience. Because we go in, the event coordinator, she steps up, she introduces herself, lovely lady. She goes, okay, I'm supposed to say a couple things about the show tonight, and then I'm supposed to introduce the MC. Uh, which one of you guys is the MC? I said, I'm the MC. All you have to do is introduce me. I'll take it from there. Cool. She pauses for a second. She looks at me. She goes, well, they gonna love you. <laughs> so, all right, I look at the other two comedians, like, we gonna find out what she means in a second. Okay. She goes out to the audience, cannot make this up. This is what she says. She goes, okay, ladies, who likes chocolate? <laughs> well, here he is. That's all she said. <laughs> she didn't say my name. She didn't even say it was a show. <laughs> I look at the other two comedians. They're killing themselves laughing. I walk out. I'm like, should I start dancing or what? <laughs> just happened and it was a mixed room it was a room like this there were men and women in the room I'm sure there were at least two men in the room like well I like chocolate too like <laughs> what's her problem like I get to travel a lot which is good times man travel a lot if you get the chance to check out West Edmonton Mall I was out in Edmonton a little while ago if you get the chance to check out that mall check that mall out it's actually really cool huge huge mall there's a water park in that mall. There's an amusement park in that mall. Weird fact about this mall, this is real. When I was out there at that time anyway, there was a gun range at West Edmonton Mall. That's real. They had a gun range at the mall. Like, what the hell's wrong with you people? Why you put a gun range at the mall? But whatever. <laughs> I was out there. I was on tour with two other comedians, two white guys. Now, again, I have to mention that they're white guys because of this experience. Because we get set. We decide to check it out. We go in the gun range. They set us up. They give us the goggles. They give us the earphones. Now they start to break down all the instructions. It's like, okay, this is how you aim the gun. It's where you load it. It's where the safety is. He's breaking down all these instructions, right? He's telling them this, and he looks at me and goes, you got this, right? <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I was mad because, well, I knew, but... How did he know that I, screw him. <laughs> I'm looking around the room, I'm seeing a lot of couples and stuff like that. Dating stuff's always funny. Girl, this question for the girl. Girls, why, how is it you got so good at hypothetical questions? <laughs> you, girl, you guys are the masters of hypothetical questions, man. You love to do this to, to guys. You, you create this crazy scenario, and then you paint the guy into a corner, and you force us to answer your crazy crap. How you get so good at that? I remember one time I was hanging out with this girl. This is the question she asked me. She goes, suppose I got into a car accident and half my face was ripped off. Would you stay with me? Uh, mm, half, half. Uh. Uh, which, which half your face, baby? doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and hot seat. That's another thing you ladies like to do too, man. Hot seat. Love putting guys in the hot seat. You know, you know the answer is going to be bad, and you ask the question anyway. I don't know why. I was hanging out with this girl today. I mean, we just, having, we just at the bar having beer, wings, just hanging out. 
And she asked me this question. She was dead serious. She goes, she goes, why do guys like some girls that are just easy? She asked me that. <laughs> why do guys like some girls that are just easy? Because they're easy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be way more ridiculous if I was out of bar with one of my boys and be like, yo, man, you see that girl at the end of the bar? Yeah, man. Hope she complicated. <laughs> yo, you guys been great. My name is Patrick. Hey, have a great night. Peace.